if you remember, we were talking about happiness and that it's, it's uh, scarce. Not, even before the pandemic, it was scarce. And the way to achieve happiness is with a relationship or with relationships and with accomplishments, according to Stephen R. Covey. So we got to make sure that both of those things are happening. How do we do that in this environment where we have CSRs at home, we have technicians in their truck, and uh, we have this social distancing? How do we make that all happen? Well, we first need to look at where we're at. Every human being has human needs. In other words, we have a need to be happy. We have a need to be self-assured. We have a need to be understood. We have a need to be cared about. We have a need to be reassured. We have a need to feel brave. We have a need to feel worthy, accepted. All those things are really, really important. Because we're driven by these needs, these emotional needs, we are susceptible to emotional tendency, okay? Humans, driven by emotional needs, cave to human tendency that are also emotionally driven. In other words, if we cave, and when we do, we do it all the time, that makes us unhappy. That makes us overly sure. That makes us misunderstood. That makes us feel uh, indifferent instead of caring. That makes us unsure. That makes us fearful. That makes us feel unworthy, entitled, unaccepted, and prideful. So let me give you an example of this. I was on a fun run with my son, Isaac. He's 13 now. He wrestles. He's been wrestling for five years now. He's just like his dad. Of course, he's better than I am as a wrestler. We go on this uh, fun run with his entire wrestling team. And coach shows up with his two boys, same age as Isaac, around the same age. They're not twins. And they were taunting my son. They were saying, oh, man, my dad can beat your dad. And I heard the whole thing. And I was like, really? Let's go. It's on, right? Now, I didn't say it. I just showed him. So this fun run, right, this team building experience, well, it became a, it became a race. It became about me. And so I take off running. Coach Garcia follows suit. We ditch the boys. They're nowhere to be found on this trail. Of course, I win, right? And, the, and when I won, it was like winning the gold medal. At least it felt that way for like two seconds until I turned around and started looking for the boys, and they were nowhere to be found. And I realized real quick how dumb that was. You see, we have emotional needs. We have a need to feel important. And this team building experience, especially when I was looking for the kids on the trail for the next hour, hour and a half, I realized I made it about me. It's supposed to be about them, I made it about me. And we do it just like this all the time. As indispensable leaders, we need to exemplify what we teach. This is our time, this is our moment. We will not get experiences like this, situations like this ever again. So in situations like these, we need to make sure that we understand that we're in a moment, a moment that we win or that we lose. How do we win this moment? Well, there is a big difference between focusing in on behavior versus a focus on truth. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say that you read a business book a day, kind of like Bill Gates, right? You're reading a business book a day and you have no problem applying every behavior enhancement that you learn from these books. Uh, yeah, right. You don't. You read tons of books and you may not implement any of it, right? Why? Because a study of behavior does not change behavior. We all know how to stay in shape. We all know how to not go into debt. We all know all these amazing good behaviors that we should have, but we don't have them. Why? Study behavior doesn't change behavior. However, a study of truth changes behavior. Why? Because when you study truth, you also know that with truth, 
there's a consequence attached to it. All right? And we'll get more into the studies of truth later, but consequences are powerful. They're powerful things. They're great motivators. If you do the thing that's based on truth or you act based on truth, you get the happy consequence. If you act based on human tendency, you get the not so happy consequence. So because you know the consequences attached to it, it changes your behavior. In fact, it changes your very nature. And that's what this is about. It's about discovering and applying truth in our social network in order to have progress and prosperity. So as leaders, let's make sure that that is exactly what we're doing. We're looking at this moment as you know, for what it is. It's a moment. It's a moment of truth. And when you apply truth, you're going to win it. So um, last week we had an offer. And it was uh, some outbound scripts as well as some outbound training videos. And uh, a lot of people are using them, and it's great. We now have other scripts that we've written. Uh, for example, you'll see here that when you text 385-247-3714, type in the word uh, script, and you'll get two scripts. Now, the first one, CSR inbound script for uh, COVID-19 cancellations. Um, when you see that, you're going to uh, be able to use it for anybody who is nervous about the technician that's coming out to their home. Uh, I alluded to it in the last couple of weeks. Well, now we have a script. Get that script by texting script to that number. In addition to that, we were inspired by CI Web Group. Uh, Jennifer at CI Web Group created um, the beginnings of uh, an original technician in-home script for uncertain homeowners. And we wanted to put the pattern for excellence in there. So what we did, and the, by the way, the pattern for excellence is our training curriculum. And so we put all of our principles in there, but you'll see that um, uh, CI Web Group as well as Power Selling Pros is at the bottom of that script as well. So. Um, it's very cool, updated, enhanced. Get that script as well. For more information about becoming an indispensable leader, simply go to powerslampros.com forward slash your people. It is a live virtual group coaching program. Um, get in while you can. There's a lot of business owners taking advantage of this uh, during this uh, critical time. It's really, it's really cool. Technicians have the ability to watch it in their trucks. CSRs have the ability to watch it from home, and uh, it's live, and uh, it's exciting and motivational. Uh, so be sure to take a look at that as well. 